Well, hello there. Uh, and as you can see, this is something new. Uh, this is a Pokemon Gold version random lock. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, a random lock is a randomized Nuzlocke. And I will explain what that is in a second. Also, the rules of the Nuzlocke are down below. But for those of you who subscribe to me for my Minecraft videos, don't worry. Minecraft will still be happening, especially since I think next week the 1.10 snapshots start. So I'll definitely be posting about that. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to try something a little different. I've been watching a few different Let's Players on YouTube doing Pokemon Nuzlocke's. And I haven't really done anything with Pokemon since Gen 1. Uh, and I know some of you might be gasping, I might be a heretic, but I just stopped playing and stopped watching the anime and stopped doing everything with it. Uh, I know a few of the Pokemon uh, from Gen 2, and that's about it. Um, but... <laughs> oh, I forgot it restarts. Um, but yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing through Pokemon Gold, but all of the Pokemon will be randomized. Um, they're, I have it set to keep the same levels, so it's not going to be like I'm going to run into a Legendary in the first region or something like that. That's not going to happen. Um, but it will be randomized, so you don't really know what's going to happen. Um, even if you've played this before, all the trainers will be randomized as well. So, yeah, you'll have no idea what's coming up next, which is really fun, I think. Uh, it's good to not know what's going to happen. But, let me explain what a Nuzlocke is. So, again, rules are in the description below, and they will be in every video here in case you forget. But, the rules are as follows. Number one, if a Pokemon faints, it is dead. I can never use it again, and I have to either release it or put it into a computer, uh, into a PC box and never take it out again. I think I'm gonna go for the PC box just so that at the end I can look back and see how many Pokemon I've lost. But yeah, if it faints, it's dead and you can't revive it, it's gone. Second thing, for each region on the map, you can only catch one Pokemon and it has to be your first encounter. So the first Pokemon that I encounter in Okay, I don't like I said I don't play these versions. I don't really know the names of the towns, but in the first town or on the first route If I run into a Pokemon, I have to catch that first one if I don't catch it I cannot catch another Pokemon in that area um, The only exception to this is if I run into a Pokemon That's the same evolutionary line as a Pokemon. I already have in which case it's the species clause um, And I can just go and find a new one um, but that's optional, by the way, so if I wanted to catch duplicates, I can do that, but then I couldn't catch another Pokemon in that area. Um, Pokemon that are given to me by other NPCs or that are lying around or whatever, um, those Pokemon I have no control over, so they don't count towards the uh, one per area. I can always take those. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And the last thing to note is that not only are the Pokemon randomized, but the items and I think the trainer names are also randomized. So I could potentially find a Master Ball lying around on the floor if I get lucky. Um, but judging by my luck, it's probably not going to happen, but we'll see what happens. So without further ado, uh, let's get into this. So gold version options. First thing we're going to do, set the text speed fast, and yeah, I think the rest is okay. New game. <sighs> this is going to be so exciting. Uh, just from the Let's Plays that I've watched, um, oh wait, what time is it? Uh, 10, yes, 59, yes, oh, it's not day, no, it's night time. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, like from the Let's Plays that I've watched, I've learned a little bit about future generations, about Gen 2 and 3 and so on. Um, and from that, and a little bit of research that I've done, Houndoom is my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. I think it might be my favorite Pokemon overall. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this randomized, in addition to it just being 
a little more spontaneous. Um, because from what I've read, you can't get Houndoom in Gen 2 until you get like halfway through the game, and I didn't want to wait that long. So, yeah, hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll run into a Houndoom earlier thanks to the randomization. We'll see. Um, now, one person that I watched that inspired this series is The King Nappy. I'll link to his channel down below. He's done plenty of Pokemon Let's Plays, and he has a habit of reading these uh, dialogue boxes in a different voice for each character. I debated doing that. I don't know if I'm going to. I might do it later, but we'll see. I'm not great with voices, but I can try. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to try giving each character his own voice, make it a little more immersive. I don't know. We'll see. For now, though, I'm just going to read it off. Oh, and by the way, sorry for putting my uh, cursor on the screen so much. I'm just not used to recording this. Anyway. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. Go figure, Professor Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. <gasps> Used to me. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. Is that it? Just playing battle? <laughs> oh. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. I was going to say Mew, but I guess that was solved in Gen 1. Anyway, that's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Uh, let's just go with... You know what? I'm going to use a name that I've been trying to start using for uh, gaming stuff lately. Which is just... Ooh, I can get back up there. Mobius. Any of you have ever seen a Mobius strip? I think it's a cool shape. Yes, I just said the words cool shape, but if you see it, you know what I mean. So yeah, Mobius. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, but it is in the description below. In a Nuzlocke, if you ever black out, if all of your Pokemon faint, you lose. Game over, that's it, no going back. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, but I'm here. Oh, I can go to the PC right away? I thought in Gen 1 you couldn't do that until you got to a Pokemon Center, I think. But I don't have anything, do I? Do I? Maybe I do. It's in my pack. No, nothing. Okay. So. I guess let's go. I think these starter Pokemon are also randomized, so there is that. Uh, oh, Mobius, our neighbor Professor Elm was looking for you. Didn't I just talk to Professor Oak? Eh, whatever. Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Poke gear, because they couldn't call it a cell phone. <laughs> uh, it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. And the day of the week isn't set. Oh, what day is it? Uh, well, I don't even know. What day is it? It is Saturday. Well, Saturday at 11 p.m., but whatever. Saturday. The daylight savings time. I, I never know when they ask that. Is it? Does that mean it's ahead or behind an hour? I don't know. Yes? 7.03. Yes! Yes, that is correct. That is okay. Yes. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes, I do. Yes, phone numbers are stored in memory. Choose a name you want to call. Isn't that convenient? Yes, it's a cell phone. I know how to use a cell phone, mother. Um, anything else to do around here? I don't think so. So, let's go. So, who's this guy? I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Well, it's going to be randomized, so it'll be very new Pokemon. Your Pokegear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? I guess she likes my cell phone. Uh, oh, there's other stuff down here. I'm assuming that big house, by the way, is where I need to go. Um, like I said, I've watched some Let's Plays, but it's been a while since I saw the beginnings of it, so I don't really remember how this all starts off. Hi, Mobius. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. So this is Professor Elm's wife, I guess? 
When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. Yeah, well, good luck with that. So I'm guessing that this is Professor Elm's house, yes. Okay. And then who's in here? Anyone want to give me anything this early? Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. <sighs> I wish I could be a researcher like him. So Professor Elm is like a rock star around here. Okay, let's go. Hey, Professor. Oh. Oh, okay. Mobius, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Good name. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. <laughs> anyway, I just got an email from him saying that, it, that this time it's real. It's intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. And random. Go on, pick one. Before I look at this, I have a question about storyline. So this guy's a professor, and he studies all these Pokemon. And his friend says, hey, we just found something really interesting that we want you to... Whoops. That we want you to look at. Right? So instead of looking at it or saying, okay, I'll come by when I have a chance, no. He grabs a random kid from his town and just says, here, you go do this work for me. Like, at least I should get paid for this. <sighs> anyway. What's the first random starter? Squirtle? What? That can't... That can't be randomized. No. That's a Gen 1 starter. Oh! I guess it is randomized. So we get Squirtle, and that's the, the, the baby Clefairy thing. Whose name I can't remember because Gen 2. Clef... Clef, Clef uh, Clefa. There we go. Clefa. So we got Clefa, Squirtle. No, I don't want Clefa. Oh, it would have told me. Of course it would. And then... Caterpie. Caterpie. Now, I just want to note, when I set the randomization up, I did tell it to only, like, use the same level Pokemon as the starters, so it's not going to give me, like, a legend or anything, but a Caterpie... You know what? I would... You know, this would be something that I would ask you guys to pick for me, but I really think between a Caterpie, a Squirtle, and a Cleffa... I mean, Caterpie is out. Like, no matter what, I'm not getting a Caterpie. Sorry. But, I don't know enough about Cleffa to know if it's good. I know Clefairy is decent, but... And, and Clefa uh, eventually I'll get to Clefable. But I don't know how good Cleffa is to start with. But I've never liked Squirtle, even in Gen 1. Sorry to you Squirtle lovers, but I've always been a fire person. Um, I could get a Blastoise eventually, though. You know what? I'm going with Cleffa. We'll see what happens. We'll see if this is a terrible choice or not. Yeah, sure. Give me Cleffa. What does Cleffa do originally? I should probably look this up, but I, it's too late now. What moves does Cleffa have? Oh, that's another thing. In a Nuzlocke, you're supposed to nickname every single one of your Pokemon, so that way you have a stronger bond with them and you feel more affectionate towards them, so if they die, you will be heartbroken. So whoever created the Nuzlocke rules, way to go. Break my heart. <laughs> Uh, so, Cleffa. I mean, it's a... You know what? To me, he looks like a bubblegum. Uh, a bubblegum... A gumball. So I am just going to call him Bubblegum. Bubble... Gum. There we go. Bubblegum the Cleffa. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. Okay. I don't know where Cherry Grove is, but he said the next city, so I assume there's only one direction to go. If your Pokemon is hurt, heal it with this machine. Oh, they have a Poke Center machine in here? Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Sure, thanks. I got his phone number. Sorry, can I use this? He said heal it with this machine. Oh. From there. Oh. Is that how Poker Centers work in this game? There's just like Poker Center healing things all over the place? I don't know. Anyway. 
Mobius, I want you to have this for your errand. I got a potion. Okay, cool. If my Cleffa gets injured. Thanks. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah, well, maybe you should hire some new assistants. Who's this dude? Let's talk to him. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. Yes, it is. What are you staring at? Okay, so this guy's a jerk. Did he just push me off? What? No. Does he... What a jerk, and you can't even battle him to... Ugh, whatever. So I'm guessing I go that way, but is there any other direction I could go? Can't go up. Can't surf yet. Yeah, I guess there is only one direction. Alright. So we go this way. What does that say? Route 29 to Cherry Grove City. Oh, Cherry Grove City to New Bark Town. Oh, so that's New Bark Town. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of you who have played all the generations are looking at me like, How can I not know that? I'm so stupid! But like I said, after Gen 1, I stopped, so I'm way behind. Who is this guy? Is he a trainer? No. He doesn't want to battle? Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out. Okay. So, my first in... Oh, wait. I don't have a Pokeball. That's right. Before you get Pokeballs for the first time, the Nuzlocke does not count. Meaning that once I get Pokeballs, I can come back and still get an encounter in this area. Uh, it's a Sentry. Okay. Uh, sure. Ooh, Pound Try. I don't know what Encore is. I feel like Encore was not a Gen 1 move, because I've never heard of it. I will probably look it up between episodes, but for now, uh, I know what Pound does. I don't know what Charm does, but it sounds like one of those status things and not an actual damaging attack. So I'm just... Oh, look at that. He's got nothing on me. So just Pound him to death, which... Ah, this is the internet. Let there be innuendos in the comments. I'm fine with it. Uh, moving on. So I gotta, uh, so I know I can get Sentret here. Because the randomization, I think I did area 1 to 1 mapping, which means whatever Pokemon I would normally get here, each one of those is replaced with a different Pokemon. Um, but that means I'm not going to get more than like a handful of different Pokemon here like normal. So, I go this way? Do I go up? Yo, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. Well, thanks for mentioning that when I had to go through the grass to get here. Thanks. Um, go this way? No, can't go that way. Uh, I don't have cut for that bush. So let's go this way. I don't have cut for that bush either. So let's go over here. This way? No. I would go left. Going left, sorry. What is this? This is a Sentret! Is that the only thing I'm gonna get around here? Okay. Kill him! Wait, he went for- oh, speed is a thing. Yeah. But this time I outsped him? What? That doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. I killed him, got my XP, that's all that matters. Oh, there's an item here. Okay. A level ball? What's a level ball? I mean, obviously it catches stuff, but... What does it catch? Like, different from a regular ball. Ooh! A Togepi! Okay, so there's Sentrits and Togepis in this area. I'm gonna kill him. Growl, my attack fell, blah blah blah. But he's still a level 2, and I'm a level 5, so I should be able to destroy him. Oh, now I get to see what Charm does. Oh, it drops the attack. Okay. Alright, stop with your Charming. You get it, you're a Charming Togepi. Eh, ooh. Wow, Charm is very effective, isn't it? Whatever. Go away. What level does Cl uh, Cleffa evolve at? Because I could really use a Clefairy or a Clefable. I wonder how I get Metronome. Does he learn it by level up? I don't know. Who's this? I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record the progress. Oh, so what they're saying is save. Save. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. 
All right, let's go in through here. Who's this? You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to take a shortcut. Yeah, I know that. It's a Gen 1 thing. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, <laughs> gotta catch them all, you have to look everywhere. Yeah, that's kind of how the game works. All right. So, am I going the right way? Mountain Road ahead? No. No, 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 I was supposed to go to Cherry... What was it? Cherry Grove? Cherry Bark? No, it was New Bark Town Cherry Grove. Yeah. So, alright. So then I'm not going the right way if I go up there, so I gotta go this way. And it's a Sentret. I don't even know what a Sentret is. It's like, it looks like a normal type Pokemon. It's like a raccoon. Whatever. Kill it! I still have that potion. I need to remember that. Uh, in fact, I think I might want to use that potion uh, once this battle is over. Okay. Just kill the Sentret. What? What did it just do? Using a berry? It had a berry? I did not know that it even had that. But that's awesome, I don't need to use the potion then. Cool. And Sentret missed, so I kill it. Cool. I had no idea it had a berry. Do all the Gen 2 starters come with berries, or did that just get randomized? Because that was pretty awesome. Okay, so this way would be Cherry Grove, right? Cherry Grove City, New York Town, yeah. So, let's go. Who's this old man? You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Oh, is this the, the Gen 2 equivalent of the old man who catches the Weedle for you? Sure, why not? Oh, or he gives you a tour. This is a Pokemon Center, they heal your Pokemon in no time at all, you'll be relying on them a lot, so better learn about them. Yeah, it's a Poke Center. And this is a Pokemart! This is a Pokemon Mart, sorry. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Yeah, I'm gonna need to grab some of those. Route 30 is this way, trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. Okay, so Route 30 is up, and then there's water here. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Yep. But I don't have Surf, or an Old Rod, or anything. Here, it's my house. Thanks for your company, no problem. Let me give you a small gift. Ooh, yeah, he's giving me stuff. A map card? Is that just a map? Oh, it, oh, the cards are right, how you add stuff to your Pokegear cell phone. So now I have a map. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Okay. You gonna give me something else if I talk to you again? When I was a wee lad, I was a hotshot trainer. Here's a word of advice. Catch lots of Pokemon, treat them all with kindness. Yay! Who are you? When you're with Pokemon, going anywhere is fun. Alright. Uh, this video is getting a little long. I do have my alarm set. Um, so, whenever... Uh, it's it runs up in about six minutes left of the video um, That's when this video will end and we'll move on But I want to get as much progress as possible. So I'm gonna try to buy some pokeballs Pokeballs they don't sell pokeballs here I already have potion No So how do I get my pokeballs? When I was walking in the grass, a bug Pokemon poisoned my Pokemon. I kept going, but then my Pokemon fainted. You should keep an antidote with you. Yeah, maybe I should buy an antidote. They're fresh out of Pokeballs. Oh, of course. When will they get more? I don't know. But yeah, I should get an antidote, just in case. Even though the Pokemon are randomized, so there might not be any um, poison Pokemon around here. But yeah. So, I'm in Cherry Grove, right? And that's where they said Mr. Pokemon was. So, they said there are trainers around here. I don't know if I'm ready to fight a trainer. Let's see. Route 30, Violet City, Cherry... I don't want to go to Violet City. What's this? Mr. Pokemon's house straight ahead. Okay, there we go. Go straight. Oh, all the grass. No, no encounters. Is this his house? Mr. Pokemon's house, yes. Okay. 
Hello, hello, you must be Mobius. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. I got a mystery egg. Mobius put the mystery egg in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. Oh, that's Professor Oak. Okay. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're Mobius. I guess I am going to do voices, after all. I'm Oak, a, po a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would rather treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Pokedex. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show? Professor Oak has a radio show? Alright. Mobius, I'm counting on you. You're returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. That's the Poke Center music. Okay. I'm depending on you. So I guess he just healed my Pokemon up, which is cool. Um, uh, what? Hello, Mobius? It's a disaster. Um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It- oh no, please get back here now. Okay, I guess I gotta go back, which is where I was going anyway. And I know you can get stuff from this. Yeah. Poison Cure Berry. Okay, cool. Also, is that egg, um, let me see. No. Alright, I thought that egg was one that hatched into Togepi or something like that. Maybe that's something different. But whenever that happens, I think it happens in this game, where you get an egg that hatches into Togepi after you walk enough, it's going to be randomized, so it's not going to be a Togepi. Just letting you know that. Slugma. I do like fire types, but I don't have any Pokeballs. So the Nuzlocke has not begun. Ooh. Smog. What does that do again? Is that damage? Yeah, that's damage. Not much, though. Oh, and poison. Oh! I guess it's a good thing I bought that antidote, huh? You know what? Just kill it. <laughs> Is that its only move? I thought Smog was a toxic... To like a poke... Uh poison type. I didn't think it was a fire type. But I think he'll survive. Bubblegum will survive. Question is... After this is over... Am I gonna have enough... So he was at 13. Pokemon... There's a 12, so it's one hit point every time. Every three turn. So every three steps, it takes one away. Am I going to make it to the Poké Center? You know what? I'm not going to risk it. This is a Nuzlocke. So I'm just going to do that. Because cause that, yeah. I don't want to lose my starter Pokémon so early. Yeah, I don't think it would have made it after all. But I am going to go with Pokémon. Ooh, maybe now that I've talked to the Pokemon Professor, or, sorry, Mr. Pokemon, um, maybe I can get some uh, Pokeballs now, because they did say, I wonder when they're going to get more, which makes me think they're going to get more. Uh, so let's see if I can buy some Pokeballs. Bye. Nope, they still don't have any Pokeballs. Lovely. So I guess I'm walking. Oh, wait, wait, there's a thing. Is that the guy that was around the... the um, Professor Elm's house? I guess so. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. 
I too have a good Pokemon. Such a jerk. Oh, oh. That is the alarm. So I guess we're going to have to save this battle for next time. So I'm going to save. There we go. I saved it as a save state, which means I can come right back to the beginning of this battle next time. So yeah. So until next time, keep catching them all. Hey, uh, so I know the video was over. This is a message from the near future. About five minutes after I finished recording that last video, I went to look up some stuff uh, about Cleffa and about what I had found. And when I looked up the level ball, I realized I found the level ball. So technically, I did have a Pokeball to use. And the Nuzlocke should have started right after that. So I did screw up. That's my mistake. Um, but to be fair, the only reason I got the level ball is because it was randomized in. And I'm not supposed to have any Pokeballs at this point. So what I'm going to do is next episode, I'm just going to go through it until I get Pokeballs the legit way. And then the Nuzlocke will start there. So, yeah, sorry if it makes you mad that I technically you know, could have gotten that Slugma or Centred or whatever the next Pokemon was after finding a level ball. Um, but it's not a legit Pokeball, so it doesn't really matter that much. So, yeah. Until next time, keep catching them all. Again. Still. <laughs>